그 역사라든지 그 지금 옛날 슬랭들이 왜안 쓰이는지 요즘 슬랭이 뭐가 있는지 그런 것들을 한번 알아보려고 해요. There's a lot of slang in English or Korean. So yeah. yeah. Slang. Ah, yeah. I said slang, sorry. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Slang is not kind of slang to expression. Mm -hmm. We haven't asked. So slang words. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Slangs. Not so much. Okay. Okay. The main thing with slang is that you, people want to learn it. It's fun, but it, it disappears really, really quickly. So were there any words you learned or used as a kid that you don't use anymore? Yeah, there's a... Okay. You're cool, awesome. <laughs> yeah, that means kind of that. Okay, so I can, I can go out tonight and say... No. No, why not? No. So childish and old. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it's an old word. It doesn't have a meaning anymore. Mm. So, uh, for example, did you have fun at the party this weekend? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I thought it was the cat's pajamas. <laughs> what is that? Cat's pajamas. The cat's pajamas means that something was a lot of fun. It was cool. It's from the 1920s. And it was a very popular slang at the time. It's still difficult to say. Exactly. So first of all, here's our criteria for slang. These are the words we want to learn or choose not to learn. So cat's pajamas is already cool. We don't need right. cat's pajamas. And also, is it simple? No. Um, we don't understand it. So it's longer than cool, it's not meaningful on its own, so it died out, it disappeared. But, what about, you're fired? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're, you're not, don't worry. But that actually started as slang a long time oh, ago. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it became so popular that it's now a common expression. Everyone knows it. There wasn't really another word for it. We could say, you've been terminated from this position. Oh, yeah. No. But it takes too much time. It's pretty simple, short. It's meaningful, so we keep it. So I have three common expressions that are really cool in America right now. And we're going to decide today which one to learn and not learn. So, Sue, do you know lit? It's lit. Yes, good intonation. <laughs> we have to use proper intonation. The party was lit. No. Doesn't work. It was, it was a great time, it was fun, it was awesome. Bay, do you know bay? Yeah, I've heard it, but I didn't use it then. We have to use words if we want to remember them. Bay just means like, Baby. I think it's short for baby. It means like just loved one, sweetheart, something like that, honey. And then the hardest one, throw shade. If you throw shade, you speak negatively about someone without actually saying anything bad. So for example, if I'm angry at my best friend and we are out hanging out at work, I take a selfie, right? Hanging out with my real best friend. I didn't say anything bad about that, but they know they're in trouble. So that's the throw shade. Lit, bay, throw shade. Is there another word for lit? Lit. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a little right. Okay. Another word for bay? Yeah. Is there another word for throw shade? Is there another way to say that I'm insulting someone without actually saying it? Some bad words. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. But then they would know because I said the bad words. So this one's pretty unique. Does it come from pop culture? Mm. No idea. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not cool. But things that come from pop culture tend to disappear. Do you know YOLO? Yeah, of course. YOLO was really popular in America for about six months because it came from a Drake song. But once that song stopped being as popular, the phrase YOLO stopped being popular too in America. Is it simple or meaningful? So, simple? Which one do you think is the simplest? Lit. Lit. Yeah. Yeah, lit is pretty easy to say. So that's a, that's a point for lit. Does it reflect the culture? This means is it an important part of the culture? So, YOLO in America is gone, but in Korea it still exists. Mm -hmm. right. right, because young people are worried about the future, they're not sure what's gonna happen exactly. So just, we will, you only live once, enjoy life. So it reflects our culture. Throw shade on the internet where a lot of people communicate. It's a big part of the culture. Yeah, and you can't be mean, really mean to people, but you can throw shade without getting in trouble. So throwing shade reflects our current culture. Yeah, so if I were to memorize or remember any of these three words, I would remember to throw shade. Throwing shade, I think, will be around if I was if I was betting, was gambling on this, I would say it will still be here in 10 years. Did that survive? I think that one would survive. So you had some questions, right? Right. There's some slang that I don't understand. Not mm -hmm. really understand, just I'm really curious about their history or why, where did it came from. Okay. So I have a question yeah. about slang. There's a kind of new word, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the word that means or mm -hmm. what they come from. Mm -hmm. So first it is badass. Badass. Is it a real bad meaning? No. Or? It's a positive, it's a bad word. I wouldn't say it if you're a little kid, but it has a positive meaning. So it's okay. Alright? A bad
badass is someone or something that is really good or, or tough. If you saw the movie Aquaman, Aquaman is always, the, the actor Jason Momoa is always in this movie. Badass. If you see an amazing sports play, like a, a slam dunk, oh, that was badass. He was badass, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I Mm -hmm. Legit. Legit. Legit is actually, it's a real word. It is shortened from legitimate and it means real. He is a legit badass. Real badass. Yeah. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. One more. Mm -hmm. Sick. 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 That's sick. Yes. Kind of sickness. Yeah. Bad. And that's why slang is so important with intonation like we talked about. Sick is positive. It's, it's awesome. It's great. I don't, I don't get it because it's still opposite. Exactly. So it's all about how you say, mm, this chicken is sick versus this, this chicken is sick. This chicken was really sick. Yeah, this chicken is sick. I guess I'm worried. Okay? So we need to be careful with our intonation uh, when we use slang. Hello, boys. Mm -hmm. So thanks for listening today. And if you have any other questions about slang or expressions, please put them in the comments below. Bye, everyone. Thank you.